Good day, mate. The one thing I didn't show you the other day is um, doing the timing events on that new tech NH8841. So, um, doing the job, but I mean to be table here like I always do. So, I was trying to find something I dropped. So, if you could see that, there's the keyway can out of that um, NH841. And I fell, I fell on the ground with find Already um, taken some of that keyway off. File. But I don't know. I didn't even get a chance to fit a lot tighter. A lot tighter actually in the groove. Still haven't got size. Anyway, oh, there you go. Now you can see, I pulled out a little bit. But I'd say it would be more timing than that once and now. And, and as I said, I need to do more advancing. So I'll put this back in where it's meant to be. And uh, yeah, be careful. You do this, guys, you're always going to drop one. I end up finding one off an old Chinese one and use that. But this one was the one that came out. So I'll get it down to a bit of uh, advance. I suppose I should say, this girl's ready to go, but I'm just waiting 24 hours for the glue to go off. So this afternoon, and um, she'll go tomorrow. Tomorrow when I have time, but I want to see how this goes. It's got super high compression. So, um, yeah, it's not, the, the video's not about this one. So we'll advance that little knee tech. This little knee tech. I want this to be um, a bit more advanced in timing. So about 90 degrees before, so between the two fins, so more would be happier. And that's probably the last time I've this thing. But um, I'll end up sharpening this chain, or I'll, I'll we'll put the um, 22 inch um, 55 chain for a uh, full chisel on And semi chisel is, it's almost new from um, orange to orange. I'll put that on maybe. You know, I'll see this goes. See if it works, or more venting anyway. I'll try and get this on film. Um, I've never done it on film, I don't think, because quite often these things stick and likewise don't show when you have the amount of frustrations you get. But this one's already been off, but it, it could be still stuck. I don't know. I don't know. Now, I never came up with this idea. This is um, John Riley. He didn't do um, poured saw, big saws. And he, he brought one day, I probably think he's doing a little, little still thing. But, um, just one of these long nose on one of these fins here. The base, so it's hard to break. You don't want to break them. So I just want to, just tight enough that you can grab it, too tight. Grab it and support the weight of the saw, like that. So I can hang on to the thing. I probably should take the bar off. But I'll undo this nut, show you where it sits. So you, you want the um, nut level with the crank and that way you won't have any problems with um, getting the nut back on and off so just above now I'll pull that back around like that once it's like that you can support the weight which I'll do now and you give the center a bump and now I've used zip ties to hold the pores out of the road but um, it should just come off hopefully like that so that's how it comes off um, sometimes they get really stuck sometimes you need pores, sometimes you need to give it heat but it's just the way things are. So, I'll put that on. Get that off, I should say. I'll leave those um, dip ties to the fish. Because it gets the pores out of the road for sockets and all sorts of stuff. That's completely off. So, we'll look at the um, angle before. That's, there's a marker there. If you haven't watched the video, it's much more advanced timing. It was enough to get it going better. So that point, that point or the end of the uh, coil, I suppose you should say. We can't see that. Do me best, God. Do me best. So that end of the coil there, it can do it anyway, but this is what it did the other day. And that coil right there. So I put the. Um, the fin in line with that, I've gone back to, I've gone uh, anti-clockwise, now go clockwise, so you see how much, make me fingers, you can see how much it moves, so that's um, back to virgin metal, so it lines up, and you see it goes halfway, so about that, I want to get a bit more, probably maybe even two fins, or, yeah, complete fin I should say, but you can see it's not much, but I want a little bit more, so I'll get the other keyway, stick it into what she looks like. So I managed to get in, all swearing, swearing under my breath sort of thing. Um, so you got to be careful when you put them in. Um, 
I'm not young, my eyesight's not good. The medications I'm on, my eyes are going blurry all the times. I bring new glasses, guys. Then that way you know you're old. old. Um, but don't worry. Make sure your keyways in, because as you put the plywood on, sometimes it pushes it out, and this one is just, it's hard, so you can't see what you're doing. But anyway, find out where your keyway sits, find the hot spline that's in the, the saw, hopefully line them up, and it should drop straight on there. So if that came straight on, I saw it. Saw it in there. Now, do I have more movement and timing? So we'll move it so it's... That's... Virgin, actually less. So, okay, you guys can see that. I have to pull back out and actually um, adjust the key a bit more. A lot of fiddly ass stuff. So, that's Virgin. Still half, half a fin, half a area here. So almost to, fin to fin. But I want more. So it's not enough. So. You know, it's good, you can work out what things are, but um, just a way of working out where your timing sits. And if you want to go big, um, big boys, you can actually put timing lights on, stuff like that, and look out where your timing and all that stuff is. So I'll pull that off, and I'll address that keyword a little bit more. And you go a little way, guys. A little goes a long way. What I'm going to do this now. After a lot of fiddling, I've got in the vice grips. I can't see scripts and I'll take a little bit off that so so you can actually work out what you're doing so I put the file against the uh, script, try and keep it parallel on level and all that but yeah I'll find it a uh, grind off a little bit of meat off that and we'll check the timing again I'll just show you this because it's hard to get in your head sometimes what it means what and angles and angles though so if you put your flywheel on and you want to advance your timing flywheel goes anti clockwise because the magnets get closer to the core so it's advancing when it did, uh, if you want to retard you go clockwise so when you key away you got to do the um, piece of meat that you removed toward the bottom so it'll now give you to um wind any clockwise just trying to see yeah so i put this in there probably won't do it on film it is very fiddly hang on make a little supplies i'll try that that's how i dropped it last time I grab the little clue away. This is a young, young man's job. Where's my son? But uh, I'll put that in like that. No. Fiddly ass little thing, you can put a bit of grease in there too if you want to. Hang on to it. Stick him in? No. I have to do it off the camera. It takes time, guys. Went straight here. I went over the top and pushed it in my fingers. Made sure she's um probably uh, just fell out of you. You bugger. Do I drop this again? So middle towards the bottom. Put him in like that. Whatever way works for you guys, because it is hard. Fat fingers. So that's back in. It still wants to fall out of the muggle. So that's in now. I'll put the flywheel back on. Hopefully it'll stay where it is. Let it get working. Get it working. Okay, she is on. Now how much more time do we get by doing that or do I still have to go further? It's all, it's all about it, guys, because that way you can judge what you're doing. Do something you guys can see a bit easier, I think. Might be a good way for you guys to see. Get your feet closer. Closer, closer. So. Yeah, man, man it's in the road. That little screw up top here. We'll go virgin on that. I think the keyway's falling out. 
You have Curry's out. So I better get the, the Kiwi back in. Okay, let's find out how much I got out of it. A lot of muck around swearing. It's hard to do when you have fat fingers. It's getting old. It's a young man's job. But it should be right now. Plus I can get you. Right. That's going back mm. against the virgin side of that key, which is um on top. So I'm lined up with that screw hole there. When I advance it, it'll be a little bit more than um, yesterday. A little bit. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So it's probably about 10 to 12 degrees. I think yesterday the other day we were saying 18 degrees for each one. Yeah, 18. So that's virgin. So about three, three quarters away. So I'm happy with that. So I'll put it back together and see how she runs. This is one of the reasons I've done YouTube years ago. Before I stroke and stuff like that. Yeah, if you pull something apart, it's hard to remember what goes where and all the rest. So this year, you have trout for your flywheel. I've done the nut up, so I'm right the way. So it's good to go back and have a look how these things go on. So that's just like that. I'll put things back on where they came from. I'm told them up. There you go. So the wire goes back over these parts here, so it's good to actually see what's going on. And the way you won't have problems with I've had wires come off and the fly will rip them off. Rip them off and I couldn't turn the saw off, but it wasn't my saw anyway, so I had to fix all that. But just be neat. Neat and be nice to your saw. And use your saw, be nice to you. So it normally works, surface it and you look after you. So like that, so feed your wire and this one's got way much way too much of wire for some reason. But um that there. Um because of these you've got the um spring load setups, if guys haven't done it before, put your pull start, there could be hard spine, it could be anything. But yeah, pull start over like that and give it a few gentle pulls. Uh, with the camera, so and that default makes it fall down in the flywheel itself. I've got a wire in the road there, so I'll pull that off. Bugger. Anyone can film this without messing up. Take me head off to you. Oh, sorry, it goes there. It goes above that and there, so I didn't even know myself. So the wire goes through there, so you get your mixture screws. But there you're all lined up. Put that back on again. Give it a pull until it drops in place. Make sure your screws all line up. Yep. And screw it back on. Simple as that. Now I'll use this hand screwdriver because I, I don't want to mess the screws up. These are cheap screws. But anyway, it's a cheap saw. But if you take them on off, on off, eventually you will strip them. So I've done that with the exhaust bolt. And I know they're weak, so I have some problems with that one. one so there's only three um, screws in this full slider. That's it. Only a small saw. I was amazed at that um, small McCulloch PM uh, 360 of those two screws. That was weird. I think you have more than two. I've got to find parts of the thing now because. It's broken on the actual um, axle for the pull starter. I know other saws there, they seem to put a screw right through there to hold it together, so that one wasn't done, so maybe maybe it was went, meant to be done. Come on, start. On, on. Quite high at the end day. Alright. Has it got fuel on her? I just want to know if it starts. Probably not. Oh, I might have fuel. Yeah, it builds fuel, so it should be enough to start. Do it sounds like. Do it. Will it rev and carry on? Or will it fart? If it starts farting and backfiring, it means it's too far back. But I don't think it did. I think it was quite, quite spot on, I think. So, put you guys there. I'll see if I can start. Yeah. 
careful. Come in, mention half and stuff like that. So give myself organised in my chair. Oh, that's better. I'll move over a bit more. Sorry, guys, I got the, the glare from the um, outside the shed in my eyes and all the rest. It's hard to see. In fact, look at your outside light and all of a sudden you're blind. So I prime that up. A couple of squirts, so that's full. Full check on. Uh, can you see me? Probably not. Pain in the ass. Near bigger shit. Right. She found the tool to adjust the um, mixture for the singer. Though so many tools was buried, but um, it's a little small fine thing. But yeah, anyway, I'll try and go outside and put it in some timber. Hope you can get it tuned up right. All right, guys, let's go outside. All right, if you heard the um, saw in the shed, or if you're watching this, thanks for watching anyway. Um, this is my rambling. It started up, but there's a bit of a dead spot uh, off idle. Once you get idling, it's fine. That would be the pulse line because the pulse line doesn't have a full compression and all that. But I really care about idle. It's when you're in the wood, that's where it works. So um, if you want to get harder core on this, I'd change the pulse line and put another carby. Um, do remote pulse line, remote. But you know, just seeing it, it will work. Now I'm going to use the same bar and chain as in the wood yesterday. It's blunt. I know it's blunt, but I want to know when I load this up in wood, if it starts to pop and fart, I know. It's not tuned right, so I'll set you up, guys. Okay, we'll get this going. Um, if, see how she runs. Might be good, might be bad. Oh, she's warm still. Still warm. I know it's got different time because the pull's now bite. She's gonna uh, need a new chain and bar. I'll put the 325 on and we'll do it go at the wood yard Sunday and test her out. Let it, that's healthy now. It's um, got a bit more pep, but as I said, that chain's blunt. It's done a lot of work though, but let's go. 
Done all the work in the hardwood. So it's not for hardwood that chains the full chisel. Just train hardwood so very hard. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I oh, know. Add on. I, I thought I'd do this one. I've got the wood there. So this is orange orange, 58, which yeah, pretty pretty countless of size really. I put this bar and chain mine. It's point two pretty too far. Point three too far here. So I have to change the rim drive as well. So I've got all that stuff here. So it will increase the power because the rim drive on a point three two five is seven two where uh, the seven two from this is a larger capacity, but a lot to be terrible. That's another story. So I'm changing her from fifth gear to fourth gear, straight, straight cut, straight gear, one to one. So you want the bar and chain? Oh. These are near new, so this will pull better. So I'll get rid of that. I'll get this all apart. So I'll get back to you. This is for the guys who don't know how to do this. It's a tool you can buy um, for your chain saws, and most of these chain saws have a similar um, clutch. So it's a huge clutch for what it is. It's massive. I've seen such a small one and a small saw, but that's made for um, bigger saws. So a lot of Chinese stuff goes to other saws, so after uh, engineering, they'll do the same thing. Now, clockwise gets it off. Make sure you sit on clockwise, and be gentle doing it because you can actually bust your clutch or your clutch can fall apart, which I've done many times. Into millions or hell. So this one almost fell apart then. Push your shoes back on, be careful. Like that, so that's it. Um, there's a certain way they go back together. So you got a flywheel, not fly, a washer, underneath the clutch, your drum, and there's your yeah, drum washer. So 3 8 3 8 one. Point three two four. Where is that? We should have one up here. And the three up. Off the floor to the saw. There you go. Point two, three two five. So I'll put that on. Goes on your, your drum like that. Make sure your um, your teeth here actually locate actually into the oil pump. Or was it break your pump? It should just sit there nicely. Yeah, see, so got one on there. So push your bearing away, right the whole way back in. Yeah, washer. That's what keeps it off the, the clutch off the drum. Otherwise, it'll bind and it will keep um, trying to spin over. And I've done that before. Couldn't find nothing wrong, but there's something to do with that particular um, clutch. I've got that on. Any clockwise does that. Now, when you do it up. I only have to gently, gently do it. And because of a big impact driver, I might actually do it a lot. It's too heavy duty for the clutch to do it up. So I'll do it up this one here. Oh, the joys of working on a chainsaw. Right, this is a quarter inch. There, a quarter inch on that, so I'll put it on two. Um, it doesn't have to be too much. It's going to then come off. It wants to change on it and all that. It'll do itself up. So like that. And it clockwise does it up. Now I pull the um, pull handle just a little bit. Because once it does it up, it wants to pull the pull handle out of my hand. And if I don't, it'll wreck your arm strength. So you're trying to pull it back to the saw. But that's enough. That's all you need. Don't get berserk. Some guys will murder things up. You don't have to. It's not. Not part of the job. So, we two tools back to where they should go. Now with this particular bar, it's not um, really designed for this at all, guys. It's designed for free, for low profile, that's it. Um, I'll show you the difference with bars. It all holds all that line up, but it's just too high. So, I'll show you that. See how it sticks up at the top? So when I adjust this and put it all on, I'm going to make sure the chain is tight, otherwise the chain will vibrate up and down and cut into the side plastic. It will cut um, to this bit of um, metal here. It just, it's dangerous, so you've got to make sure your chain's tight. I'll get that done. 
Might as well do a little talking. Um, you heard this all before. You can hear it die down um, just off the um, rev, first part of the rev. That, I think, is a pulse line issue. Because if you look at the back of the video where I poured the cylinder, you can see that the uh, cylinder was poured around that pulse line. And so it's not getting 100% what it needs. But once it's up and revving, no problem at all. And I've done this before. I've seen how it gets affected. So I'm, it's like I don't care. For me. If it works in the timber, it's all I want. But it seems pretty good. And it's a lot more um, responsive once it's up and revving. There you go for that. Big ass, big ass chain for um, a little saw. Right, I'll go outside with you guys. Okay, let's see how she goes now. We've got the um, 22 inch bar chain. It still has a flat spot off at rev, but after that's fine. So I need, need to tune this more um, somewhere I can make noises, but um, I'm in suburbia. Right. <laughs> Yeah, it goes alright. Not 100% happy, but it goes alright. Only alright. 